What's going on everyone? It is Joe DeLoneware and today's video, I'm actually pretty upset today. Pretty upset over my fall over seed. If you follow me online, things aren't going so well. Let's get started. So like I was saying, my fall overseed is just not going the way I want it to go. And I'm actually just really uh, generally just disappointed in the whole process, the whole thing. And um, <clears throat> my voice isn't totally there today. I was at a Phillies game last night. And um, I just wanted to show you guys what I experienced. And um, you know, if you guys have ever experienced, experienced this before as well, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, I'm pretty upset. So if you guys have been following my channel, you guys know that I threw down on September 3rd this year. I always usually try and throw down over Labor Day weekend. Very simple process this year. Prior to the day of seeding on September 3rd, I did aerate and I did dethatch. I have talked about that in the past. Um, but on the day of seeding, we did a couple things. Uh, this year we did, we threw down grass seed. We threw down fertilizer. We sprayed tenacity. I put down peat moss in various spots that, in my yard that were pretty bare. Um, and then other than that, we've rolled the seed into the ground and that was it. And then we just kept things watered um, and things are not going well. So it almost looked like that the grass was, it germinated and then it almost looked like it was dying in a way. Um, I, it was brown and it just, the ground was very saturated and I, from what I can see and from different people that I've talked to, it sounds like I was drowning the seed or I was drowning the grass with just too much water. You're going to hear me say that word a lot today, water. Um, and you're going to hear me say peat moss a lot as well. <laughs> so that peat moss and on top of that water, it, I think it just created too much of a moisture barrier. It just that's from what I saw um, uh, this this picture here is when I noticed things were just really bad I sent these pictures out to a couple people um, and they were asking me like how many days ago did you ago did you throw down seed and I said it's been more than 10 days um, you know now we're on day 19 and um, I'm and I'm like I should be seeing more growth than I, I am I mean I threw down six pounds per 1,000 of seed which is a you know half decent amount of seed and it just things weren't going good so what i got out was my soil profile tool that i got sent to me by ams it's a really cool tool uh basically what you do is is you stick that in the ground and then from there you can get a nice soil profile you so you can see the different layers you can see you know your, your thatch layer you can see the soil what makes up the soil uh can you know the underneath of your actual soil and you could see that it was like the, the the water was definitely getting down i mean you could see there on this picture here that the, the the water was definitely saturated the water was getting down i think it was just too wet it was just too moist there was too much water i was over watering too much i was doing four times a day at 20 minutes each zone and i do have mp rotators and i know that mp rotators they don't put out as much water as opposed to rotary kind so i figured since the MP rotators, you have to put out more water to get more water down. So I was going 20 minutes a zone. So there's only really two areas that were bad when I came to the fall overseed this year. This area right over here and this area right over here as well. So what I wound up doing was is I was thinking to myself, I, I do, should I throw down more seed on top of what I already have or, or what? So what I wound up doing was I was wound up going and getting my Groundskeeper 2 rake and I really love this rake. I've talked about this rake in the past. Uh, it's it's pretty much like a thatching rake. You know, if you've ever seen the bottom of those dethatchers, like the Sun Joes, things like that, that's pretty much what these are. These are like tines. And this just really, you can really scrape that surface. So what I did was, is I took this and I did this area right here behind me and I did the area that I just showed you over there, raked it out and it, there was a lot of dead material, surprisingly. And it was almost like I was doing the dethatching from before I even did an overseed. So what we did was, is we raked it out. Luckily, I always make sure I get extra seed before I do an overseed, just in case. And what do you know? I did have to use that extra seed this year. So we're, we threw it down in this section. And, but the one thing we didn't do this time was throw down peat moss. 
So after I got done raking out these sections, I usually get my backpack blower out. It's just easier from, in my opinion, I see people use lawnmowers and suck up those clippings, but it's just easier to blow those thatch piles into a pile and then throw and then you know, putting them in your trash can or, or putting them wherever you put them or compost them, whatever. Uh, but I was getting a ton of peat moss out. There was just a huge dust cloud and I was just, it almost was like the peat moss was just sitting, you know, on top of that surface. It, it really didn't break down at all. So I was trying to blow these uh, areas out as best as I could with the backpack blower. And it, I was really surprised at how much peat moss I got out. So that's why I say, I, I don't think I'm ever going to use peat moss again. And I know I've talked about peat moss spreaders before. And believe me, those peat moss spreaders, they really do work. They, and if you really want to use peat moss, I suggest you use one of those spreaders because it is a messy job. Um, but that peat moss, I was just so surprised at how much that it didn't really break down at all. And you can actually see on that soil profile there at the top, that top layer is pretty much all peat moss. I mean, it's it's amazing it just and i just think that combination of too much watering and and having the peat moss and it just it was just a really bad environment for growth there was no way for those soil for those grass you know blades those baby grass blades to really take off and they were just drowning and i think just what happened was is i drowned them out too much from from what i see i'm not a professional but from what i see i watered too much too much water too much moisture and those seeds just drowned out and they pretty much just died so we threw down more seed in this section over here in the section behind me as well uh no peat moss this time just laid them right on top i did get out the groundskeeper and just lightly raked on top of the surface just a little bit uh, just to get that, make sure that so, uh, those seeds got down into the canopy. But other than that, we're, 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 I'm really keeping an eye on the watering. I'm really not trying to go overboard th board this time. Um, I'm actually getting out my hand, just my regular hose now with my uh, Underhill Rainbow nozzle. And I'm watering in the morning. And then when I come home at lunch, I, I'm, able, I'm lucky enough to work very close to home. So when I come home around 12 every day for lunch, just checking on and on everything again um, if it needs a watering i will get out the hose uh real quickly 10 minutes you know just real quick wet everything down um so it's only been about day three today so i'm hoping to see some kind of germination tomorrow so i will get definitely have an update video after that but again no peat moss i don't think i'll ever use peat moss again after this experience so believe it or not, a video came out about eight to 10 days ago. It's called, and it basically says why not to use peat moss or why you don't need peat moss for a fall overseed. And Cam from Elevated Lawnscapes, I'm gonna leave his video link below. Really great video. He has a, he has a lot of great content out there as well on his channel. So go check out his channel. Um, it, it, I wish I would have saw this earlier. I do watch a lot of lawn care YouTube channels and you know, I get my you know different ideas from other uh, you know creators other channels as well and you know I, I I'll admit it I do have an overwatering problem that probably caused it and on top of that peat moss hold, holding that moisture just just put the nail in the coffin for me and so I'm hoping I can recover from this and hopefully this lawn will you know fill in by uh, Halloween time and hopefully going into next year i won't have to put down any additional seeding in the springtime so just a really quick video for you guys here today i just wanted to update you guys on my lawn and my process and and hopefully you guys can learn from a little bit of what my experience was this year with my fall overseed i know i definitely learn i always say you live and you learn and i really did this year i lived and learned from this so i mean it doesn't look terrible it doesn't look you know it could look a lot worse you know it could look like completely bare so i i can't say that you know from a distance it looks good you know when you're out on the street you know when i'm out here on the street it doesn't look it doesn't look terrible i mean it looks looks somewhat uh, presentable but when you get up close you know and you really look down into the lawn doesn't look the greatest so i'm hoping this fills in like i said by halloween i'll keep you guys updated as long as you guys keep watching 
I keep putting out videos and I hope you guys enjoy them. So if you found today's video helpful, make sure you smash that like button. It really does help out with the channel. And if you're interested in any of my other content, I'm available on Instagram, I'm available on TikTok. Go check me out there. And like always guys, I'll see you in the next one. See that dumpster over there? I might just use that dumpster and throw out my whole lawn at this point.